Hello everyone, welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. Today we're going to be going over inheritance, abstract classes, and interfaces. And they're kind of a bunch of similarly uh, grouped things that are good for making a tutorial about all of them. Now have you noticed I've created a bunch of different class files and interface files uh, that we'll be using to test our, uh, just basically explain what each thing does. Uh, we're going to start out with inheritance, and inheritance is basically uh, the ability of classes to inherit things like methods and variables from another class. Um, so you can create, say, a parent class, and then you can also create a child class, and a child class can use a method from the parent class without actually having to write the code in the child class. Uh, to illustrate this, we have our parent class here that says, uh, say hello, say goodbye, and let's also do... say parent right line now we have our child class here which has these methods here now if we want it to make it um, inherit the parent class all we have to do is put a colon there now what you can do is uh, you can either include these same methods um, as are in the parent class say you say from child class, um, and it'll actually override these methods here, but um, or you can just not include them at all, and you can actually use this. You can basically use the say parent class from the child class. Uh, to show you how that works, we're going to create instance of a parent class and an instance of a child class. Now, of course, as you'd imagine, our parent class should have access to all three of these methods, and we can verify that by just doing say hello, say goodbye, and say parent. But what is uh, interesting is that our CC also has access to all three of these, despite not even having say parent, just because it has uh, basically uh, inherited that. But if we remove that, it no longer has access to say parent. It only has access to those two methods. And to show you that it overrides it, uh, let's call say hello on this, and then say hello on here. And they should produce two different things despite them being inherited. Hello, hello from child class, which is what we expected. Now that's, uh, of course, you can get a lot more complicated with um, inheritance, but that's pretty much the gist of what you need to understand is that uh, the child class inherits methods from the parent class. Now abstract classes are kind of the same, except they are a little bit different. And in order to create an abstract class, you have to put abstract, in, of course, in front of the uh, class. Now abstract classes can also be sort of inherited um, as so, and it is actually yelling at me because it says I uh, am hiding the inherited method, but um, the thing about abstract classes is that you can't actually instantiate them. You can't create a new one of them. So if I try and do that, it'll actually yell at me. It'll produce an error. Um, and it's the same thing with interfaces. You can't create a new class of abstract. But you can also um, we can uh, use methods in this abstract class from something that inherits it. So in our child class, which has these ones uh, that which uh, inherits this abstract class, we do have access to uh, say abstract, just like inheritance, except you can't create a new instance of this of uh, an abstract class. So let's go ahead and run that. See, it says abstract. Now, again, it's getting a little bit repetitive, but this is very, very useful when you don't want to uh, basically repeat your code. You don't want to be writing a lot of code over and over again. It's really good for keeping everything uh, concise and object-oriented Is that so you don't have to keep writing the same thing over and over again. Say you have some sort of um, chat messaging screen that might use uh, the same screen and um, the same like input, like uh, you type a message into a box and hit send.
but the things on the side might be different. So you want to basically create a um, an abstract screen class that you can then um, override with maybe a, class, a screen with a video on the side of it or a screen with a picture on the side of it. Just so you add those extra video and uh, picture, uh, you add those extra video and picture features in the classes that inherit the abstract class, but you keep those core features in one abstract class so they can be used over and over again without having to write them all in the parent class. That's really the main idea behind inheritance abstract classes and um, kind of interfaces, but not really interfaces because uh, we are uh, they are a little bit different as we're going to talk about right now. So an interface, as you can see, is slightly different. An interface is basically something you use to make sure that a class implements methods. It's, that's it. So um, they basically don't have any code in them, and all they are is just methods. So you could public void, interface hello, and they would have maybe a bunch of different methods and other things. And you also can't declare variables. So int x it'll not let you. Maybe you can't do this. Come on, don't make me look bad. Apparently you can declare. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if I run it. Okay, there we go. It's making me look bad for a little while. But yeah, you can't create variables in uh, interfaces. So in our child class 2, let's make this uh, inherit I hello the interface. And when we try and say run this, it'll actually yell at us because we haven't um, implemented the interface or implemented the method uh, say hello. We haven't actually implemented that. But when we put that implementation into it, it'll actually compile. Uh, so this is good if you want to have a stringent set of um, methods. Say you have like a car class and you want uh, a car class to have methods like drive, stop, turn left, turn right. You maybe create a car interface and have a car class extend that so that every time um, you create a new instance of like a truck or a car or something else like that, you're going to have to write those uh, methods in there or else it just isn't going to work. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I hopefully have covered most of the basics for it, but again, I use this stuff all the time because it makes uh, writing code a lot easier and a lot less messy. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see anything else about uh, Java, C Sharp, Android, and any more of this stuff, make sure to comment. I'll leave a comment, send me a message about your ideas, what you want to see next, and most of all, subscribe. You guys are awesome. Quackor signing out.